hey guys welcome back to another youtube video first of all i finally reached a thousand subscribers thank you so much to all of you that have subscribed to my youtube channel i honestly cannot believe i finally reached a thousand subscribers we're at a thousand fifty subscribers so thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed like my video comment shared my video i know i have a lot of friends and family who share my video so thank you so much i know a lot of you subscribed when i put up uh, my video of my new car so i wanted to make an update of my car i know a lot of you guys said um that you were getting it that this was your dream car that you were thinking to get it so i kind of want to give you guys more detail and how i feel about this car like six months later i did get this car in august i think it was the end of august beginning of september around there so it's been more a little bit more than six months that i've had this car so one of like my favorite favorite things that i liked from this car was the toyota app i know a lot of you commented like what app did i use for my phone and i'm gonna put a screenshot up here of the app it's literally just called toyota and it has like it's a, like a little red square with the toyota logo it is so convenient guys it tells you when you forget to lock your car when a door from your car is open um like it tells you literally everything the other day i was at the gym like inside the gym and it told me that i had forgot to lock my car i don't even think distance matters i don't know if you it's if it's a certain type of distance you have to be from your car so it could work but i was like really down there at the gym like far far from my car because i parked my car pretty far I had said i left my car unlocked and i had my work laptop in there like i have my wallet in there and i was like freaking out and i was like oh, i don't want to drive all the way back to lock my car and surprisingly i did it from the app i put lock and it locked it and i was pretty far away from my car so i don't know if the distance matters maybe i'm just like new to this and i'm like dang that is so cool okay you guys so a quick thing um my bit emoji might not look like me but it's okay um so i actually tried locking my car really really far away when i wasn't nearby my car and it locked and i was literally miles away from my car so this works um like literally being so far from your car which is so crazy to me but so cool but yeah just letting you guys know that it works really far from your car and it also gives you your the parked location if you go more down also i like that i can start my car from inside my home when it was winter time while i was getting ready for work i would start my car the um heater would be on and on my seats so when i would get to my car it would be really like warm so yeah that's a really really cool feature that when i'm inside my home um i get to start my car from the app and it's so convenient i love it i don't have to go outside and put the button i can just be inside doing my thing and my car like starts so that's pretty cool okay so like right now it tells me my doors are unlocked i'll show you guys like a screenshot of how it pops up right here uh, but yeah that's how it kind of tells you one of the main things i like from this car as well is the gas the gas is so freaking convenient you can drive this car on eco normal and sport um eco i don't really recommend driving eco in the freeway um it takes longer to you can but not if you want to go like fast but if you want to drive fast in the freeway like um for your car to go at its full capacity i would not recommend driving it eco it's very slow sport it's really fast like it's not the fact that it's really fast but it just you know um when you start it like it right away you can feel the difference of driving it on sport mode normal i like to drive normal on the freeway that way i don't feel like um my car's going slower but on the like normal streets i'll drive eco and i save so much gas so you guys see right now it's on full i actually filled up my gas tank yesterday okay guys i'm gonna turn on the air because it's getting hot already it's at 90 degrees outside so i'm gonna turn it on sorry for the noise but to fill it up yesterday it was 64 dollars and 20 cents and i put obviously 91 my full tank gas will last 
two weeks so every two weeks I get paid so I fill it up every two weeks and um, it lasts me I go to the gym after work I I want to say once out of those two weeks I'll drive to Phoenix come back and I won't have to fill it up until the second week like I get to do all that with all that gas I want to show you guys a little bit more features um, that this car has right here because obviously when I got it I was I didn't know much I was barely getting to like know the car one of the things I want to show you guys is more of the things here um, I got my car this cover right here for the, the steering wheel it's just black with red leather I got it at Amazon I'll link everything on the description box if you guys want to get it I was gonna get a bling bling one but I just feel like it's too much bling bling because I have this too and I don't want it to be like too girly like I like being girly but not too girly <laughs> But yeah, this one is so nice. I really liked it. It kind of gives it like the sports effect. Don't come at me for this. I know they're dangerous when you get in a car accident. Um, it's bad for the airbag. Um, this can hurt you. I know this. I know, guys. I know. Before anyone comments, I know. Um, <laughs> but I like it for now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take it out. I just want to like use it a little bit more uh, because I paid for it but I'll be taking it off soon I know it's dangerous to have so before anyone comes at me but this is the volume for to turn on the music okay before we get copyrighted <laughs> but it tells you right there how much you're pulling it up and right here you can have it like this which is pretty nice a driving sport um, you can have it like telling you your speed i have it at speed you can have it like this like how much gas you have that's how i have it i want to show you guys a really cool feature this is a steering assist active and then a lane centering active right there so you can have it like this the lane centering active or the steering assist assist active the lane centering active i want to tell you guys more about that so the lane centering active it's pretty cool to use uh honestly like even the guy that sold my car was like honestly like if you're sending a quick text it'll keep you on your lane um i know not really safe to say but like if you ever need it it like literally will start beeping and push you for you to go straight I don't have that on um, I used to have it on in the beginning but it honestly I honestly feel like it makes my car go slower because it's just like you know making sure like that you're literally really centered in and sometimes what I notice that it doesn't really grab especially in the freeway it doesn't grab the lines right you know how the freeways have like um, like just lines of the road being weird and stuff it'll think that that's the line but it's not the line it's like you know so that's kind of annoying so i take it off when i drive in the freeway and to work i have to drive the freeway so that's why i don't really have it on but it's a really cool feature like when you do need it i just like to have it normal it still beeps when you're getting out of your lane but it doesn't like push you if you're seeing on the left hand corner of the dashboard um you can see right there i put it on sport this is eco mode it turns green at the bottom as well this is normal nothing comes up and then sport is gonna be red at the bottom this the mode right here is for your radio like if you want bluetooth if you want to switch switch it to radio um you can change it right here and then this is how you change the songs oh i got this like cute rosary my aunt sent me from mexico it's so cute because it has like little red beads and i feel like it matches my car very well i got this from bath and body works i feel like there's scents that are really strong but some scents are not every then you do get like a little swish of that smell i know someone commented on my car video that um this is car play friendly which is means that it's apple friendly but it's only if you connect it to your usb cable so let me show you guys but if you see right here apple car connected and you have to go to apple carplay and now it shows like obviously like your phone so i like using apple carplay when i'm going somewhere and i don't know and i need the map because then the map will 
pop up here um, and that way you don't need to use your phone so that's when I do use Apple CarPlay so yeah so just letting you guys know that it is Apple CarPlay friendly this is the like brake the emergency brake I just didn't know I'm showing you guys the things I didn't know <laughs> when I got this car <laughs> Um, que mas? Overall, I do not regret this car at all. I love everything about it. I know that the summer's gonna come, so it's gonna be my first time with like seats like this. So we'll see how that goes, but I don't think it's gonna be bad. Thankfully, where I work at, we have a garage. In my house, I have a garage too. Not like a full garage, but um, it's my car's covered for sure. So I don't think it should be that big of a deal. I like how it makes your car smell like these type of seats like i love how my car smells like just by not even putting any like car deodorants and stuff like i love the smell of the leather i don't know it's weird i just wanted to make this video because a lot of you subscribe thanks to my car video so thank you guys so much some of the things that have been happening to my car had never happened with my old um, older Nissan Altima they already broke my windshield once and it shattered so I had to go get a new window thankfully my insurance covered it but now there's another one and I know with the Sun it's gonna open even more up and it's crazy because I had my Nissan Altima for I want to say four or five years and that never ever 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 happened <laughs> but now I'm dealing with like the freeway and the rocks hitting my car i think like the older cars are made with stronger like um with stronger windows i have no idea but i don't know what it is so now yeah i'm gonna have to fix it for the second time but i'm waiting for it to open more uh, because you never know what if i get hit again on this side the other time i did have to fix it like super fast because it was literally right in front of me and it cracked and it was like Whenever I was driving and the sun would hit it, it was really, really bad. Another thing, I already hit my car on the side. Like I said, these stuff never happened with my old car. Like, I don't know. I need to be more careful. I want to show you guys real quick. Okay, this is where I hit my car. It's just a little bit, but it's there and it bothers me. They recommended me to buy a paint for it. I put the paint on and i don't feel like it worked I, we read the directions we try to do it but yeah it's right here to all the way like here um it's just paint but i need to get it fixed so i'm probably gonna take it to the dealership i'll let them know that the paint that they gave me didn't work it's like a little pen you can use but i did not like it but yeah it's on this side thank you to everyone who watched this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one bye